Well, good day, guys. I've done it again. Oh. It's getting cocky. Nah. I don't think so, but anyway. Been going real good, eh? Anyway, I'll go and get the boys. We've just been pushing this silt off here. Hopefully the wind's not too bad for you. It's gonna be a, it's a fire band day today. So pushing that silt off. Well that's how wet it is. I don't know whether you can see but that's where the ripper's been and it goes down a meter. So I was just filling up this hole here, but I just need to make a bit more of a rant next time, I think. So, anyway, I'll come back to you. I've just got to make some calls and get some people. Oh, now, guys, we've just got the boys here. I'm going to check that right first. Yeah, that'll be good, thanks. So we've got the boys here. We're trying out the new rope again. Yeah, that's good. So if you just want to come back two metres and then full bickies in first gear. Yeah, ready when you are. Work my diff box in, give me a second. Defeated guys for the moment. Yeah, we cracked the sads. So the old saw Gordon quite enough this time. And we'll show you what happened with this other strap. So it's just pulled the outer sheafing off. Looks like. Uh, anyway, we'll come back to you. Well, guys, I'm back. We have a... Oh, that's a bit weird. Oh, we have a plan B. Or C or D, I don't know. I'm gonna... It's got the old excavator from up at the, the rock piles and it's signing up for duty. So, yeah. Give her a grease, pull all the rocks out of it, pull the dirt off. I've got a truck coming tomorrow and uh, that way we'll uh, we'll pull her out with that thing, well we hope. So anyway that's the update so I'll probably will get back to you tomorrow or whenever the truck is I reckon. So and we should have more story time then maybe. It's the day, truck's just rocked up, just gonna uh, grab the excavator here and we'll load her on. So, I'm 
we had about a 1.3 mil last night. It was a lovely 1.3 mil. Oh, this is what I did yesterday before I got rid of the excavator. I just leave it out there. Gravel. Don't look too close. I'm not an expert. So you're probably wondering, while I'm walking the old machine over here, you're thinking, why are you sort of people taking the excavator when you've got the bulldozer to pull it out? And that's a very good question, and I don't blame you for thinking that. Our thinking is, even though it'll be a bit harder to pull the excavator out, go no, pull the dozer out with this thing. We've actually got some jobs on this contract job we're doing and that's going to help us finish the job off so it'll take a bit more to pull the dozer out but the upside is that um, we'll be able to actually do a little bit more of a job there where I can't get the dozer in. So yeah. I'm on load in the excavator. Let's go nice and steady. There we go. Oh, no suspension in these things, not like the dozers. We go that way a bit, eh? Well, we got her loaded on, just got her all strapped down. We're just um, getting the height right. See, it's all uh, hydraulic. Righty -o. we'll get unload her. I think we're ready. Actually, 
Houston estimated to get a dozer out, so I may do it the wrong way, so just go easy on me there, guys, with the comments, you know. I'm just a rookie. Anyway, we'll see what we can figure out, eh? Right, well, what I'm thinking first, I'm just going to pull the dirt away that's built up on the edge and um, give us a bit of room in there and we'll clear the back of the tracks as best we can and then we might lift it up the bulldozer use the rippers and the blade and I might see if I can stuff some dirt underneath the tracks we'll see how that works eh? that may be a dumb idea but we'll see It's actually not like it's wet, but it's not like sloppy, so yeah, hopefully we're right. Well, that bit looked a bit sloppy, didn't it? Maybe I've unearthed something from the deep. I better move that tractor out of the way. Give me a bit of room. Just try and get in here. Well, we've lifted the dozer up. Now we'll see if we can put some dirt under it, eh? You guys get the idea, I'll come back to you. Yeah. Righty, hey. Now we've got Steve here, he's going to be our camera holder. He's resigned to that, eh? Hey? I'm good at it too, don't worry. <laughs> Righty, hey.
shallow. Oh, it, was eight, it was in good hands, that. Oh, mate. Man, that was amazing. I don't know, it would have helped putting a bit of dirt under it, maybe, too, yeah, you yeah. think? Because it definitely was up a bit higher, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Were you working hard, Phil? No, I not No. Oh, there's something wrong with that radio, I couldn't hear you. And I'm still working out what to do, and here I see you going, I'm like, right, where are you going? <laughs> I saw a little bit of a push, so I thought I was going. <laughs> Yeah, it was. I used the hydraulic power, and then the um, when I run out of reach, I used the, the tracks. So, and it was nice and conservative. Oh, there's no, it doesn't give you permission to get it bolted again, bro. Uh, now we've got the excavator here. We'll leave it here. It's, eh? it's, we'll fun, leave it here. it's fun time now. No. <laughs> well, that, I am very relieved, I must say. So there you go, guys. We didn't break the strap for well, more than we had, and uh, we got her out. So I hope you're happy, Matt. I hope you're happy. Just rocking up home here. I've had enough, eh? That's enough for my anxiety levels. So we got the dozer out. That's good. We got, uh, yep, yeah, we got Robbo moved this morning. That was actually the other job we had to do. He had to move ours. So we got him done. And uh, you might be asking why Matt's not about. Well, funny story about that. Um, he's kind of helping his in-laws move. And guess where they're moving? They're moving to his place. So um, I reckon that's pretty funny. So anyway, he'll have lots of fun on shore. Anyway, thanks for watching and like and subscribe. Apparently that's what you gotta do. So good stuff, see ya.